Joanna Simpson here at Quant Minds International in Barcelona. Joining me now is Marcos Lopez de Prado, Global Head of Quantitative Research and Development at the Abu Dhabi Investment Authority. Thank you very much for joining My me. My pleasure. And just start by telling me how you're finding the conference so far. Excellent, that's useful. Many interesting people and great topics. Very Going good. well. <laughs> and Adia is setting up an investment lab and factory. How is this set up different from hedge funds? Hedge funds are typically organized as silos. That means that every person is supposed to do every aspect of the investment process in the pipeline. Uh, that means that people cannot specialize. Um, in our setup, we break down the problem of developing investment strategies into independent components and uh, people collaborate, co-specialize. They work in a squads in order to complete the research on an investment strategy, then it's peer reviewed and it's put in production. In this setup, people are encouraged to develop as scientists, work as scientists and become the best that there is at the particular problem. And actually, during your talk, you emphasize the need for a specialization. What's wrong with training as a generalist? There is nothing wrong um, if you want to work um, as a PM in a hedge fund and receive an allocation and, and be compensated based on a, a proportion of the profits. That's fine. Uh, however, if you want to work as a scientist, which means that you want to specialize in a particular question and become the best that there is at that particular question, then this is not the right uh, path to achieve that. A generalist is supposed to be more or less good at everything, but not particularly good at anything in particular. And a scientist is supposed to be in command to have mastery of a particular topic. That's why uh, a generalist is to some extent the opposite of a scientist. In parallel, Adia Lab will be launched on December the 2nd. How is Adia Lab related to Adia's investment lab and factory? Yes, uh, Adia's objective is to ensure the long-term prosperity of Abu Dhabi, and uh, that involves doing research and uh, productionizing investment strategies. Uh, so that's a very specific focus and area of interest. While Adia Lab is more broadly interested in a number of questions related to extracting insight from data sets. Uh, this insight may have applications in climate change, in cybersecurity, in terms of the digital economy, and so many different applications. Um, so the scope of Adi Lab is, is much more uh, basic research um, with many different applications that are beneficial to society at large, while Adia is specific to ensuring the long-term prosperity of Abu Dhabi. That doesn't mean that the two organizations are um, completely independent or that they don't have uh, connections. In fact, there will be very strong synergies between uh, the two organizations in the sense that what might be useful in the context of, let's say, climate change, like very large, complex simulations, may also be applicable to investments. However, the two organizations will fulfill their objectives, uh, the best that there is without constraints, with what, without one constraining the other. Now you've worked in Zurich, London, Chicago, New York, and now Abu Dhabi. Which have you enjoyed the most? Well, my choice was to move from New York to Abu Dhabi, and definitely Abu Dhabi is an exceptional place to live. My favorite so far. Uh, it's uh, the safest city in the world, ranked consistently. Uh, there is great infrastructure, uh, the food is fantastic and uh, the population is very welcoming. It's a, it's a wonderful culture to live in and uh, me and my family, we are enjoying very much our time there. Marcos Lopez de Prado, thank you very much for your time. My pleasure. Thank you.